Hey everybody, Marcus Richards here on behalf of Big Variety of Vids. Today I'm going to show you the actual BOS, a developer edition I have, which the version of it is 5.0.4, um, infamously called um, BOS R5 um, Developer's Edition. And um, I'm going to show it to you all today. Um, I, it, I will pro it'll probably be very limited to what I can show you because of a mouse glitch that's in there. Um, where the mouse just shoots up to the top right to the top left of your screen um, and to fix that you have to kill the input server and probably about two or three seconds after it works fine again it'll do the same thing so um, hopefully it had better luck this time around alright so please excuse the boot up process as you have to enable some safe mode options um, you have to reinsure the BHD works um, set your screen resolution which I'm going to go 800 by 480 um, use fail safe video mode, return to main menu, and continue booting. Now there's seven bubbles going across. Um, the first one I believe means um, system ready, um, hardware ready, power on, um, monitor set, um, disk detected, tracker ready, and the B box on the end signifies that the operating system is beginning to load up and your computer is about ready to use. You see the boot up process is not too long, but it's longer than most. Um, I should be getting a mouse cursor here any minute, or a mouse hand. Um, as you see the BOS, um, very famous for its uh, hand style mouse. Um, I believe you can download it for Windows somewhere. Um, so I'll let it continue loading up. It's loaded tracker, which is the uh, window manager. Window manager um, Mac OS X has Finder, Windows has the Explorer, and uh, BOS has Tracker. So, um, as you see, as far as a developer's edition, it um, <laughs> has some pretty weird stuff on it. And uh, one of the weirdest things is um, the language is not really set. As you see, um, some of it's in French. You got applications, documentations, um, you have, um, I'm not really sure what that is. Demos, development, um, and preferences. Even in the menus that are in English, you have French objects in them. Um, audio, video, um, bioratique, which is um, more applications, or applications rather. Um, graphics, which is graphics. Um, Gravure, which is, um, I think, uh, CD burner tools or burning, maybe? I don't know. Internet, Juye games, um, utilitaires, um, which is utilities, and um, you have emulators, which are emulators. Um, good thing about French, thank goodness a lot of it are, a lot of French is cognates. So about the BOS, and right there's a mouse glitch where it goes up to the top left and you can't move it. BOS Developer Edition has it's detected both of the processors, the virtual processors, BOS 5.0.4 Developers Edition 2.1.28. The system has been running two minutes and the seconds are counting. <clears throat> B BOS the B and BOS logos are trademarks or registered trademarks of B Incorporated in the United States and other countries. BOS 5 Copyright 91 to 2000 B Incorporated. Now I'm just gonna say, coming from my background, this is this is very creepy. I mean. An operating system that hit its huge decline in 01, you know, I still got it today on a CD. Um, I find that it just kind of runs chills down your back when you think about it that how such an operating system that had such potential just kind of went down. And honestly, as I'm going to show you in the next video of the new, um, the new version of BOS, which goes under the name of Haiku, um, it's I see great things going on with it. I mean I actually think it will be the fourth option in the main three, Windows, Mac, and Linux. I really do believe it will. Um but this kind of concludes um this video for now because I mean I'm pretty limited on what I can show you. Um Alt F four closes Windows, the um right click menu button opens the B menu. Um I'll go ahead and hit shut down. Um and I think, not sure, 
yeah I think yep okay and um so there you go BOS R5.0.4 uh, as you see it has ACPI where it can uh, shut your computer down uh, without you having to manually turn it off so in my next video I'll be showing you the Haiku Alpha R1 which if you like what you see download it if you really really like what you use then I encourage you to purchase the CD like I have um, it's twenty dollars commemorative CD um, it's totally worth it I mean not just for the fact that you know you've got a copy of it right there on hand but for the fact you're also helping Haiku make the um, reinvent the BOS better and better so that it may become the fourth option so again this has been Marcus Richards on behalf of a big variety of vids and um, we will see you later bye